Yo guys, what's up? It's Warspirit. Got a little first month of Overwatch gameplay commentary recap for you guys today. Are you in the beta yet, guys? It's been a month. Surely some of you have managed to get in out of all the waves there has been so far. If you're not in the beta, leave a comment saying you're not. I'll try to give you guys some words of comfort in the comments if you post. So, I mean, we've got a clan in the Seth clan of, let's just say average 50 members basically only one guy in our clan has actually managed to get into the beta through the beta wave system one guy got in during the free weekend as well uh, so he's no longer in the beta so that's it for people i know who have actually got into the beta legit fingers crossed we're coming up to the end of the first beta test phase which is said would be ending this year so fingers crossed the second wave of the beta test is more open and bringing in more people maybe some sort of pay to play could possibly be implemented in the future but hey it's been a month of beta overwatch has been able to be played by people for a month now i've definitely been playing it every day for the past month and been having a hell of a lot of fun playing it one of the most important questions people say or ask people in the beta is is the game ready to be released like why why are we not playing it right now the game looks really perfect from what we've seen in gameplay videos and streams and things like that and yes the game is definitely 100 percent playable right now but whether or not it's in a finished state i would say it's not because it's not got all of the features that a triple a game should have at launch and i think what we need from blizzard is for overwatch to launch with all those features that triple a titles need these days and not say that okay we're going to launch the game and we're going to bring these features later on like so many other companies are doing these days because i think that that is bad <laughs> and i think it's hurt a lot of games that have come out previously that have said okay we're listening to your feedback and we will bring this stuff after launch a lot of the time companies say that and then they end up not bringing the stuff or when they do get round to bringing that stuff that they promised it's already too late and the game is dead for example, Evolve. Later on down the line, they improved Evolve massively. They brought in sort of earning skin mechanics and community events. They brought in a brand new casual sort of game mode specifically aimed at players who wanted to just play a few short rounds for a bit of fun. They brought in ranked play, ranked matchmaking, ranked queuing. They brought in private matches after launch as well. And even recently they've started launching brand new free alterations of characters that were already in the game. All this stuff came after launch. So when the game actually released at its release time, reviews were terrible because it was just lacking features, lacking content, and all this content was promised and did come later on, but it was too late. And I don't want that to happen to Overwatch. So Blizzard have actually already said that they are working on ranked play for Overwatch, and if it's not there at launch, it will come after launch. Now, I'm hoping ranked play is there at launch, because if it comes after launch, that's a disappointment. I'm already really happy with Blizzard because they've got a spectator mode implemented in beta. Now that's the first time a spectator mode has been implemented in beta for a first person shooter that I have played in the past couple of years. Uh, a lot of the games I've played in the past couple of years have not even ever gotten a spectator mode despite developers saying that hey we're working on it and we could be bringing a spectator mode. Evolve did get one way down the line as well but Overwatch is at least ahead of the game in that sense. It's got a spectator mode. It just needs a lot of improvements which I hope it's going to be ready for release. I hope it's going to be an amazing spectator mode on release. The other thing that I think Overwatch is missing right now is just, well, it's missing a ton of things, basically. It's missing more game modes. It's missing a sort of casual mode. It's missing a competitive mode. It's missing ranking up systems. So many people these days expect to earn achievements in video games. They need something to keep them playing. They need to feel a sense of reward every single match that they play. Now, that's not for me. Like, I can sit and play Crisis 1 all day and get no rewards from it, no leveling system, everyone's on the same playing field all day. I love that sort of thing without having all this level up bullshit, unlock all these guns, unlock all these abilities sort of things. But other people don't, so Overwatch needs that just to satisfy those other people and that needs to be there at launch. So despite me wanting so many more people to be able to play Overwatch right now, it's not ready for launch yet unfortunately and it shouldn't be released to so many people at this time because there was the free weekend there. It was a sort of closed beta stress test weekend. It wasn't even a stress test because really the servers weren't stressed at all. There was no server issues from what we could see and Blizzard are sort of known for their server is issues. So the fact that they had a stress test weekend there with no server issues was very surprising. So a lot more people did get access to the game for that weekend 
and of course there was a lot of feedback about the game feeling like there wasn't so much to it. But that's because it's not. It's a beta test. It's meant to be testing character balance. It's meant to be testing finding bugs. People have found so many more bugs than Blizzard could ever have found themselves just by playing the beta. So many bugs have been fixed already. They've been doing really frequent patches. There's been a little lull in patches the past week. There hasn't been anything. But that's pretty much because we're expecting a sort of big patch to come out. Maybe they're gathering quite a bit of feedback from the previous ones. So I'm expecting a big patch coming out in maybe the next week or so. Balance issues are definitely still a big part of the beta right now. And Blizzard basically trying to work out a, a competitive format for the game and all that sort of stuff is still being worked on. So there's still tons of stuff to do on Overwatch. It's as much fun as it is to play right now. It's missing stuff and it's not ready for launch. So keep holding on guys. <laughs> if you're not in the beta, keep holding on. We're sort of still in it for the long haul right now. We're in it until I think the expected release date is spring next year with the latest possible date being sometime in June, mid-June. So that's, that's what we're expecting right now for Overwatch. Apart from that guys, the past month for me has been really awesome. I've just been playing pretty much all the characters in the game. A few of them I haven't really played very much just because I don't really like their style. Such as the Hanzo bow and arrow guy, fucking bow and arrows man. Like, I still have nightmares about the Crisis 3 bow and arrow. I can't touch a bow and arrow in a video game ever again after that. <laughs> so, game's been lots of fun. For us, there's a really strong focus on the competitive scene right now with our Sith team. There are lots of teams in the beta, especially on Europe right now. There seems to be loads of teams really wanting to scrim, to train, to play in tournaments and things. There's already weekly tournaments started up for Overwatch, some cash prizes going around as well. And it seems like a really strong community right now. All the teams seem to get along really well. They all seem to, to enjoy playing each other and organizing these scrims together. There's like Discord channels for all competitive players. There's pug channels sort of in the works trying to be set up. There's various sort of spreadsheets and tools out there that the community has made to help people with just number crunching and things. So, so far, so good. You might come across the occasional guy in pubs who uh, thinks it's completely 100% your fault that we just lost that game. So watch out for those guys. But apart from that, yeah, this is so much fun, guys. So keep checking out my videos, guys. Going to keep bringing that content for you anyway until you all get in. And then you'll be all too busy playing the game to watch my videos. <laughs> nah, I look forward to it guys. Thanks for watching this one and see you in my next video. Bye bye.